from KYMA News 11. Prep Winter Sports takes center stage. Welcome back, everyone. We begin with Prep Soccer, where the Gila Ridge Hawks are coming off an impressive road win over the Brawley Wildcats, taking their act to Yuma's north side this time around, paying a visit to the Yuma Criminals. We go to Doan Field as Juan Lerma and the Crims looking to pull off the upset over Alfonso Perez and the Hawks. We pick it up in the first half. Giancarlo Mendoza spins around Jack Sterninski, gets the shot off, but the roller is corralled easily by Hawks keeper Julio Fimbres. Hawks on the offensive. Daniel Villanueva tries to center the rock by Paul Johns. Just can't get it contained. Yuma keeper Genoa Medell comes up with a save. But Ridge would capitalize on the corner kick. Noah Ochoa's offering headed to the back of the net by Villanueva, putting the Hawks up two goals in the first half. They would pour it on from there. The Hawks soaring to a 7-0 victory. We now move on to prep basketball, starting with the boys' side, where we would have a battle of early season unbeatens out of the YUHSD, featuring the Gila Ridge Hawks and the Kofa Kings. We take you out to Rio's gym, where both Jordan Stevens and Valentino Zapian shaking the hands with opposing the opposing coaches during pregame. First quarter, Peyton Smith cuts inside, kicks out to Angel Mendoza, who drains the wide-open three ball taking advantage of being left wide open by the Kings' defense. Ridge's fast start continues. Mendoza fires the rock up court to Stevens, using great body control and quickness to put down the quick deuce. Hawks up seven early. More Gila Ridge. Mendoza is going to find Peyton Smith, who throws down from downtown. This increases Ridge's advantage to 10 points. The lead would continue to avalanche. Mendoza finds a wide open Stevens on the back door, and he gets to easy layup. The Hawks in command. Kofa would try to rally, though. Zapian is going to pass the rocket to a wide-open Francisco Jimenez, who cashes in on the three-point opportunity. But the Kings' early deficit would be way too much to overcome. The Hawks soared to a 73-40 win to stay unbeaten. Moving on to girls' basketball to the Ivy Invitational. Out in Holtville for the first game of the day, featuring Yuma Catholic and Central. We pick it up at the end of the third. YCF 8. Nobody picks up Brianna Martin in transition. She buries the triple from deep to cut the lead to five. But the Rocks answer on the other end. Reese Sellers using the court vision to find Hannah Swart out for the deuce. Swart out finishing with 10 points. Then in the fourth quarter, Spartans down to nine. YC loses Martin again and knocks down another three from downtown. YC still up six. Central still trying to cut the lead. This shot from Moira Garcia off the mark. Long rebound goes out to YC's Ria Martinez, and Ryan pushes it to Clarissa Meza, who gets the coast-to-coast, -coast, count the bucket and the foul. The freshman would compete, and she'd come to play. YC up 14 with just minutes to go. The Rocks would go on to win 50-40. to We now turn to the second game of the day in Holtville. The hometown Lady Vikings taking on the Calipatria Hornets. We go to the first possession of the game. Vikings with a nice high-low setup. Vanessa Gonzalez with a high post finds Skylar Hansen. Kisses it off the glass for the first points of the game. Just moments later, senior captain Orion Anderson finds Julia Moreno, who drains a three in transition to put the Vikings up five. And just a couple minutes later, Hornets try to get on the board. Michelle Trejo's short jumper bounces off the rim, but Marcella Yearly cleans it up, and it rolls for two. Calipat cutting the deficit to three. Towards the end of the first quarter, Jolie Quintana's pass knocked away. Cameron Walker does the rest. All the way for the easy land. Vikings go up nine to two. The Lady Vikings would go in the locker room up several points, and they'd go on to win handily 55 to 29. And finally, just a friendly neighborhood reminder, the Beijing Olympics coming up in 63 days, and you can only catch the games right here on News 11. We're done with this all-local round of sports. we got more to come right after this.